so this video was originally going to be my completed TBS but I went ahead and put that on hold only because I got a brand new product this uh, this new DJI mini OSD was just released uh, mid August late August and I just got mine in a couple weeks ago so I decided to put the build on hold for the TBS just so I can uh, get this and test it and use this instead of an aftermarket OSD with this one right here I can just use my current GPS and I have to use a second GPS for the aftermarket brand so one less thing of our interference so I decided to go this route and it pretty much would have cost me about the same because I was going to get a, a easy OSD which they're about $180 so I had to uh, upgrade my version 1 NASA to uh, the PMU version 2 this device here and I added the LED for 10 bucks extra and of course the mini OSD I could have used my original LED but you got more wires so just decided to go with this one for 10 bucks anyway so I'm gonna get a close-up of the video I'm gonna put it on my little portable DVD player on the screen so you can see all the details but just up close real quick this is the let's see if I can focus here Right, so there we go. So I have it wired up to uh, this little FPV camera, video transmitter, and what else? Of course, my compass here, my orange receiver, and this is the way it goes. Being OSD goes in the bottom section of the version 2 PMU, and I'm trying to focus as I talk here. Uh, this is your main power, supplies power to this, and then of course to your NASA. The LED module is very bright light, you'll see here in a minute. And a GPS goes directly into the PMU, it doesn't go over here anymore. So that's what it looks like. I'm gonna stop this video and switch the camera around so I can get it on the screen for you and show you uh, what it looks like okay so I got everything plugged in battery and as you can see the my little portable camera or my FPV camera is pointing at my ceiling I'm gonna put the cap on there so you can see the screen a little bit better so you can read the numbers on the screen and let's see here so there's the screen you can see you got your uh, voltage upper left hand corner on the lower left you can see the GPS or if I switch my remote you can do attitude manual and everything shows up right there it's pretty neat uh, on the left middle you see the height and the distance from you which is pretty typical you see on the very center of the screen the top it's um, I guess the um, the position of your quadcopter so if I move this around, that's the roll and then the pitch degrees. That's what, that's what that is. And then the upper right hand corner is the satellites, which is not going to pick up. I'm in my garage. And then you have the, this V right about here. That's uh, I guess the velocity you're traveling. And this one right here with the arrow, it's the uh, velocity, vertical velocity is what that is. So. And that's pretty straightforward, pretty typical OSD. I like it. The only bad thing about this OSD, it does not have uh, the current sensor. So you don't know how many milliamps you have consumed, which is no big deal for me. Uh, if I can just use one compass, that's great. So one less thing for interference, like I said. Hopefully this works out pretty good. And I uh, just wanted to share my new product before I install it in my TBS. And next time I will show you the completed TBS with everything already in it. We'll do a test flight and go from there. Thanks again for watching.